Belching is expelling excessive air from gastric through the mouth. Belching can be exacerbated by several conditions like drinking carbonated drinks, talking while eating because it increases risk of swallowing air and sometimes during just eating and drinking is enough to swallow air. Mechanism of action of belching is relaxing of lower esophageal sphincter. It relaxes so it's ready to expel gases and contraction of diaphragm. This is diaphragm, it contracts and it creates upward pressure in the stomach, forcing the air to escape through the esophagus first and from mouth. Uh, belching usually caused by several diseases. So belching is not always physiological reaction. In 30% of cases, it is caused by gastroesophageal reflux disease. Gastroesophageal reflux disease, also known as heart, heartburn, um, person has burning sensation, which increases after eating and during uh, night, it worsens, uh, and it is caused uh, stomach uh, acid comes through this esophageal sphincter into esophagus, it irritates esophagus and causes heartburn. Another common condition which can cause belching is peptic ulcer disease. Peptic ulcer disease causes belching around 10% of cases. Uh, I mean 10% of belching cases is caused by peptic ulcer disease. Uh, it caused by epigastric pain. Usually it's localized and it's sharp burning pain and it uh, has correlation with eating. It can be exacerbated by eating or uh, opposite, relieved by eating. That's uh, peptic ulcer disease. Uh, another uh, relatively uh, mild conditions which can cause belching are functional dyspepsia. Uh, it is uh, cause, uh, causes uh, belching in 20% of cases. Um, it's characterized by persistent or recurrent pain in the upper uh, upper abdomen um, and accompanied by bloating, early satiety. Um, person feels uh, full quickly and easy. Uh, sometimes nausea and discomfort is not relieved by bowel movements. It's important that discomfort is not uh, relieved by uh, bowel movements because we have another disease which is called irritable bowel syndrome, which occurs in 7% uh, cases of uh, belching. Uh, and at this case, there is uh, altered bowel movements and pain is relieved by, by bowel movements. So if pain is not by bowel, bowel movements, usually it's functional dyspepsia. And if bowel movements release pain, it can be uh, irritable bowel syndrome. And aeropagia is another cause. Uh, it causes belching in 15% of cases. And uh, people with aeropagia often experience excessive belching due to increased air swallowing, uh, which can uh, lead uh, abdominal bloating and discomfort. That's all. Uh, thank you for your interest. Thank you for your watching. If you like my videos, please thumbs up. If you like my channel, please subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye for now.